Okay, let's talk about the New York State Teacher Certification Exam. And specifically, we're talking about the multi-subjects test for grades 7 through 12. So because you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you are preparing for this exam. And that is fantastic because we need as many teachers and great teachers as you possibly can. It's so, so critical. And unfortunately, most people, unless they were a teacher, have no idea what it takes to become a teacher. Okay, you have to get a degree, you have to take these certification exams, and you have to go through a lot of training. And what I have for you here is a practice problem that you should be able to fully um, answer if you are completely prepared for the math for this particular exam. Okay, so actually, let's take a look at the problem now. So here I have a function. And what I'd like you to do is tell me the domain of this function under the set of real numbers. Okay, and there's a couple of different ways you can express your answer. I'll show you the uh, solution to this in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to fully work out uh, this problem. But functions is a huge topic in algebra, something that you're absolutely going to need to know on this particular exam. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I have been teaching math for decades, and I totally understand what it's like to take uh, certification exams. They are not easy. Okay, and I'm probably already telling you something that you already know, but unfortunately, a lot of um, people uh, underestimate uh, the uh, these particular exams, and they go in and they don't make the exam the first time, right? And they'll end up having to take it two or three times until uh, ultimately they pass. Now, uh, most people can pass the first time out, but really what you have to do is have the correct mindset and really understand that you're going to need to know um, a lot of mathematics to be fully prepared for this exam. So we're talking about like high school level math and advanced high school level mathematics. So with that being said, I have a fantastic uh, math test prep course for this uh, specific exam. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. It will really, really help you out. So let's go ahead and get into this problem. All right. So again, we're talking about functions. This is a huge topic in algebra and we want to um, define the domain of this particular function under the set of real numbers. So let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. So the domain would be something along these lines. X is greater than or equal to negative 5 halves, where X is an element of the real numbers. X is part of the real number system. Now, if you didn't express your, uh, uh, your answer this way, okay, you may have expressed it maybe something like this. You could have done negative 5 halves here. Um, uh, and you could have probably gone to positive infinity. This would have been okay as well, right? But this is a little bit more advanced. Uh, but pretty much what I was looking for is an answer like this. Now, if you didn't even write this or this, well, there's probably even another way you could express this. But you'll have to kind of judge for yourself whether you understand what's going on. But let's take a look at the solution now. So what is the domain of a function? Right, actually, let me go back up here so we could just quickly talk about this. And this is uh, kind of real basic algebra stuff, right? So the domain of a function, let's just kind of look at it like this. Here, if I have this function, right? Let's say I wanted to evaluate this function for a particular value, let's say two, okay? So what I'm asking um, or what I'm doing here this is my input value. I'm putting in two, plugging in two into this function, okay? So let's see if I can actually do this. Well, the way we could find that out is by actually doing the math, right? So let's go ahead and plug in a two right here. And do we have any difficulties doing this? So what's going to be the answer? So two times two is four plus five. So this would be what? The square root of nine, uh, again, two plus two, or two times two, excuse me, it's four plus five is nine. So the square root of nine, of course, would be three, okay? So this is the output value, and the input value is uh, two. Now, because we were able to get an output value here, 
2 would be part of the domain, okay? So the domain of a function is the set of all input values, okay? So what numbers are we allowed to plug into a function, okay? So don't concentrate on the output values. You're concentrating on the input values. The output values is something called the range, right? The input value is called the domain. But again, here, 2 works in this function, but that's only one number in this entire set of numbers. We're looking for the entire set of numbers. And of course, I did show you the answer. All the numbers that would work in this function are greater than or equal to negative 5 halves, okay? As long as this number that we're talking about is a set in the set of real numbers. Okay, so I don't want to get overly technical here on you, but this is stuff, again, you should have some uh, level of understanding about. All right, now here is kind of the main thing, the main idea of to solve this um, problem, right? So here's our function. So we have to ask ourselves, what numbers are allowed into this function? Well, in when we're talking about the set of real numbers, okay, this is of course the real number line. Here's zero, here's all of our positive numbers, and here's all our negative numbers. We are not talking about imaginary numbers or complex numbers. These are numbers like 2i plus or minus 2i, uh, the square root of negative 1. So we can't uh, deal with the square root of negative numbers. So in other words, when we're talking about the real number system, these complex and imaginary numbers are not on the real number line. Okay. So in terms of the real number system, we have certain restrictions, one of which is we cannot take the square root of a negative number. Now, if you have a basic calculator, you just want to do an experiment real quick, go ahead and try to take the square root of negative 7. Your calculator might just give you a bunch of question marks or come up with error. It's, it doesn't understand that question, okay, because it's, you know, doing a lot of math, let's say, in a set of real number systems. So the only thing that's going to work here, if uh, you cannot take the square root of a negative number, you can't take the square root of zero or positive numbers, okay? So what's okay is as long as 2x plus 5, okay, is greater than zero or equal, I'm sorry, uh, greater than or equal to zero, you will be okay, okay? So you could take the square root of zero, that's zero, and I could take the square root of a positive number all day long, like the square root of four is two, not a problem. What I can't do is just have like to take the square root of like negative nine. That's positive negative three i. This is a complex or imaginary number. It's not in the real number system. So, you know, um, you know, I'm not trying to uh, make this overly complex, but these are absolutely critical concepts to understanding the nature of this problem. Okay, so uh, with that being said, right, we have two x plus five. We know that it, it has to be a positive number or it can be zero so we can just mm -hmm. construct a lovely little uh, inequality just like this 2x plus 5 is greater than or equal to zero now just to solve this inequality all i have to do is uh, subtract 5 from both sides of the inequality we get 2x is greater than or equal to negative 5 and then divide both sides of the inequality by 2 and you end up with this so x is greater than or equal to negative 5 halves As a matter of fact if you wrote this that's perfectly fine but um to be more precise about it, you would say the domain is all x is greater than uh, or equal to negative 5, where x is uh, an element or part of the real number system. Okay, so, you know, again, uh, this is only one, you know, uh, tiny uh, bit of uh, math concepts and stuff that you're going to need to know to be fully ready for this uh, particular exam, right? That's what you want to do. You'll want to be completely ready for this exam. So again, whether you use my course or something else, you know, make sure you are really studying all the broad concepts that you'll find in high school math and advanced high school level mathematics. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best on this particular exam. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.